to my YouTube channel. I'm Amesy, the creative behind Amesy's Antics blog, which is a travel, lifestyle, creative crafts type of blog, as well as a few of my general antics thrown in, in and around Leeds. So a bit of a mix match of everything really. Uh, this is my YouTube channel, which predominantly shows travel vlogs from the trips I have taken and now I am branching out into crafty videos. This is mainly to coincide with the blog posts that I write from the different DIY makes, uh, just to give it a bit more of a visual element so that if you find it easier to follow along via video, I know I always head to YouTube if I get stuck, um, then it gives that option as well. So there will be, always be a blog post and a YouTube video to go along with each of the DIY crafts that I am making. With that said, today's post is how to make your own DIY cotton pads. These are designed to be used, washed and then reused. So stopping popping your cotton pads into landfill, which is much better for the environment. I'm showcasing two types to make, both the same method, just a slightly different look. These are the more traditional look, square flannel cotton on either side. Then this one, cotton flannel on one side and a nice patterned cotton on the other side, um, just to give them a bit of a prettier look. So if this sounds like a DIY for you, then let's get crafting. So before making your cotton pads, you want to wash, dry and iron your chosen material, which is cotton flannel in this instance. This will account for any shrinkage or frayage that may occur to the material, which you definitely do not want to happen once you have made your cotton pads. You then want to lay out your material and cut a strip from this. I am marking seven centimeters down so that it will be a seven centimeter wide cotton pad. Here I am just using a ruler and a chalk tailor's pencil to mark dots along the material, which I will then join using the ruler to make a straight line. So for this DIY, I am making square shaped cotton pads rather than circular ones. This is purely to reduce the amount of wastage of the material um, that would occur if you were making circular shaped ones, just being a bit more economical with it. Once you have marked your line, you then want to grab your scissors and cut out your chosen strip of material. Then you want to fold your strip of material in half, cutting along the fold line to give you two pieces of material. Using your ruler and chalk again, mark seven centimetres from the end and keep going seven centimetres at a time until you get to the end of the strip. This will create squares for you to now cut out. Once you have cut out your squares, make sure that both pieces are together and aligned at all the edges. Hop over to your sewing machine and turn it to the zigzag stitch. You now want to connect both of your squares together to make the cotton pad. To do this, you need to use a zigzag stitch, otherwise known as an overlocking stitch. This will just give it a nice finish whilst connecting them together, trapping any loose edges and to help prevent fraying, which you definitely don't want on your cotton pad. Not only that, but I think it gives it a nice little pattern and a nice little finishing touch. Trim off any loose ends and threads and you have yourself a square cotton pad. To add a decorative touch to your cotton pads, you can use some patterned cotton material to line one side of the cotton pad. Follow the process as before, so cut a 7cm wide strip and then mark 7cm to make squares along this strip. Cut out the pattern squares and align them to two squares of the cotton flannel material. So this one has got three layers to it rather than the two of the original cotton pad. 
if the edges don't align then just trim them and cut them down to size so that all four edges are matching. I pinned mine together just to keep them in place a bit better. Once you're happy all sides are aligned, pop back over to your sewing machine, again using that zigzag stitch to go around all four edges of the square and to connect all three layers of the cotton pad together. Again, the zigzag stitch offers a bit more of a decorative touch and contrast well against a pattern material, especially if the cotton is contrasting in colour. It also traps in any of them loose fibres and stops fraying which your cotton material may be more prone to doing than the cotton flannel. Trim any loose thread and you have yourself a patterned cotton pad. So there you have how to make your own DIY cotton pads. Um, hope you like this DIY make, I know I enjoyed making them. Um, so if you did, give it a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like, no pressure. There will be more crafty videos to come on this channel as well as more travel vlogs. So keep posted and I will see you next time. Bye! Tomorrow, tomorrow.